right. My first guest tonight has a Tony and four Emmys and a boatload of talent. Please welcome Neil Patrick Harris. to their feet for Neil Back Patrick Harris. You, Wait a second. You said you loved me a half an hour ago. <laughs> Very easy. Hey, congratulations. The last time I saw you, you had not yet won your Tony. Oh, for I Hedwig did, and the did, Angry Inch. Congratulations. Did. Thank you very much. What a, that was a great achievement. That was Tony. So fun. Tony is where it's at, man. Anybody can win an Emmy, right? I got like <laughs> nine of them or something. Who's yeah, counting? Yeah, okay. Who's counting? And Oscars, you can win that for a documentary short subject. And Grammy sure. has like spoken word. But for Tonys, you got to bring it live. You can't fake the Tony, you man. You can't fake the Tony. And it was super fun and very exciting to do. But we actually had a whole chapter, a theatrical chapter together. <laughs> we did. We did. It was brief. It was a one weekend theatrical chapter. For we some, did. Uh, Stephen Sondheim's company, company at Lincoln exactly. Center. Right. And you were so good. You did a beautiful job, and I stood on stage with you. It was fantastic. That is so absolutely, that is absolutely not the, the truth. Case. There's, a, there's, was, there's actually video to prove it. I was wildly under underprepared, and what? you were so on your game. We you were sang all underprepared. Great. We we never rehearsed all together no, I would until we scene. did the show live in front of an audience. No, you're you're That's just true. now you're just lying. It's what I do no. for a living. I had, I had my script in my hand. I arrived a week later than you guys. You were completely off book. You and Martha Plimpton had all these scenes together. You had kung fu bits that you were doing. We did. We you did, sang yeah. like an angel. A lot of Sondheim is, it, is kung fu. Is, a lot of it. Is all it weird best. for you yeah. to be here in Times Square in the middle of it all and with no ability to do a musical? Like, would, would, would I have you the miss... ability to be. I just did Sinatra, my friend. You, like, I can do, do you the miss... ability to do a musical. No, no, I don't mean a Wait, skill I, set. I am out of here. No, I'm saying quite the opposite. I'm saying that you have the talent to do a musical, but you have this gig that it you're doing nice to be, that keeps you here. It is nice to be on Broadway every night. If you were to do a musical, what would you do? What Jesus would... Christ Superstar, obviously. <laughs> what other musical is there, my friend? Jesus Christ. Do you know Jesus Christ Superstar? I've heard of it. <laughs> what would you want to do? What do you... Fake on. Lady Hitler. <laughs> I am telling you, <laughs> it's a great show. There's an entire score of Fake I'm, Lady Hitler. It's, it's now, would you want to play Hitler? Or fake lady, fake Hitler. lady Hitler. Obviously, that's what I want a Tony for Hedwig. Exactly. How could I not do fake lady? When Hitler? you've got a Tony, yeah. can you just walk up anywhere, like any Broadway show, and go, "I think you have tickets for me." Yo, Hamilton's not <laughs> sold out tonight. Uh, I've got a Tony. I'm sorry, we don't have any tickets tonight. Mm. How about for my friend Anthony? Does he have some tickets? <laughs> um, uh, you're you're doing well, but even though like you're a big star and everything like that, and I know you're probably rolling in it, you might get a hurt on your budget this Christmas because uh, your well, son uh, Gideon, Gideon, obviously you and your your husband David have two beautiful children, yeah. Gideon and Harper, Twins. and Gideon has uh, put out a Christmas list. And uh, see if our uh, this is what it is. It says uh, yeah. uh, it says one bounce house, <laughs> yeah. two, and is this what it says? Life size. Rocket, Rocket ship. ship. <laughs> That's what he wants. And did this, did this get mailed to Santa? Not just yet. <laughs> uh, that's that's what he's after. Yeah. Do you? I live, don't, you live in the city, right? We live in the city. <laughs> we have a uh, yeah, brownstone in the city. I don't. That's what I said to him. Where are we supposed to put a life-size rocket? But is there ch is a chance the rocket's going to come through? <laughs> it might not be life-size. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll, mm -hmm. our daughter Harper asked for a pink karaoke machine. That's nice. Oh, pink? <laughs> I, I get the karaoke part, but does it need to be pink? She she is fine with uh, uh, you know Western gender normative choices. Yeah. And you are not to judge her for that. I don't judge the bit. Do not judge. Her choices, but her how other, she identifies, is not of your damn business. It's true, that's true. And it's really Santa's list. Mm -hmm. she, her, the other thing that she asked for was um, a dollhouse, but a life size dollhouse for her. <laughs> and how I big said, is she, how big, let's, we, got a we actually got a photo. She's got a photo 48 right inches tall. This is, 
You and David she, and I the said, kids. Harper. There, that there was a Halloween right there. I said, yep. Harper, a life-size dollhouse for you is just a house. <laughs> you want me to get a house for you? And she said, yeah. And I of said, again, I said, yes. what, what is it with these giant gifts? Where do we put a life-size dollhouse that's large enough for you or a person? And she said, on the roof. We'll put it on, up the, on the with roof. The, with the bouncy castle. With the, with the, like, and the rocket ship. With the ship. rocket ship. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it's going to be a late night on the 24th. You, you and David put out uh, some incredibly adorable photos of you and the kids. And this, this is your Halloween photo, right? We do a fun Halloween picture okay, every year. Yeah. Every year. Do you ever feel like you're, like, it's going to become an arms race? Like, every year there's a cuter one. At some point, you're just going to peek out. And the kid's going to go, well, Dad, you've totally well, frailed this year. What is going on? Well, what I, I don't worry about that because I just love Halloween and I think it's super fun and a great thing to do. It's a good yeah. opportunity to put on some silly costumes but, and get scared. I love haunted houses. But um, what I think is going to be tough is when they start dictating what the costume's going to be. Because right now we can say we've got this great idea and here's what we're going to do. Old Hollywood. See this? You know, it's his, her name is Marilyn Monroe, and you're going to we'll watch a little clip of Marilyn Monroe, and that's what you're going to do, and they're kind of okay with it, but in a year or two, they're going to just declare that it has to be something else, and we're going to, that's the arms race. Oh, no, but you, they will absolutely. By the time they become teenagers, you'll be, you'll be lucky if they talk to you, of course. Understood. But here's the Your thing, Your costume Steve. is you two are invisible. <laughs> and we're gonna go have fun. <laughs> yeah, Speaking of which, right. we gotta take a little uh, break. Don't go no way. We'll be right back Don't with more. Don't go no way. Don't go Don't anyway. Don't go no way. We'll be right back with more Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs>